electron gain enthalpy. The enthalpy change accompanying the process of addition of an electron to a neutral gaseous atom to form its negative ion is known as electron gain enthalpy. So what is electron gain enthalpy? The enthalpy change accompanying the process of addition of electrons the process of addition of electrons to a neutral gaseous atom okay neutral gaseous atom okay and form a negative ion okay so enthalpy change accompanying the process of addition of an electron to a neutral gaseous atom and form a negative ion this process is known as electron gain enthalpy and it is denoted as delta egh okay so let x be the neutral gaseous atom one electron is added okay so what will happen an anion is obtained so a negative ion is obtained this process during this process there is a release of energy okay so delta h here will be delta egh okay so there will be an enthalpy change example chlorine atom okay this will gives chlorine cl minus okay so chlorine atom gets converted into cl minus ion and here the delta h is found to be minus 349 kilojoule per mole okay 349 kilojoule per mole for most of the elements this delta h will be a negative value negative value means energy is released during this process okay so for most elements delta h is negative okay so depending upon the element the process of adding an electron is either endothermic or exothermic endothermic means energy energy is needed for this reaction and exothermic means energy is released during this process okay so most of the cases the reaction is an exothermic reaction okay so if energy is released if it is an exothermic reaction delta h will be a negative value let us take in the case of noble gases noble gases have stable electronic configuration okay okay so the addition of electron is difficult so what will happen it requires energy so delta h value is large positive value okay large positive value because here energy is required because while uh, for this is a stable configuration an electron is at, uh, attracted towards it and that will goes to the next higher unstable configuration so energy is required for this reaction so for noble gases delta h value is a large positive value okay next factors affecting electron gain enthalpy first one nuclear charge as nuclear charge increases what will happen nuclear charge increases as nuclear charge increases if the addition of electrons is taking place that will attract more towards the nucleus so more energy is released or delta h will be a more negative value okay 
मोर नेगेटिव वैल्यू नेक्स्ट सेकेंड केस इन द केस ऑफ एटॉमिक साइज एज साइज इंक्रीजेस वॉट विल हैपन एज साइज इंक्रीजेस न्यूक्लियर चार्ज डिक्रीजेस ओके सो डेल्टा एच विल बी ए लेस नेगेटिव वैल्यू डेल्टा एच विल बी ए लेस नेगेटिव वैल्यू ओके नेक्स्ट इन द केस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन वॉट विल हैपन electronic configuration in half filled or fully filled configuration we have to supply energy okay to add an electron to an atom so what will happen electron gain and that is have large positive value fully filled or half filled electronic configuration what will happen we have to give we have to give more energy that means delta h will be a large positive value okay example in the case of noble gases we already discussed okay these are the factors affecting electron gain enthalpy next variation of electron gain enthalpy in periodic table okay from left to right in a period from left to right what will happen from left to right nuclear charge increases so delta egh increases from left to right so halogens are more and halogens are having more more electron gain enthalpy halogens have more electron gain enthalpy okay then comes noble gas we know noble gas is stable electronic configuration so it requires more uh, energy that is delta egh will be a pos more large positive value okay so halogens have the highest uh, electron gain enthalpy so delta egh will be highly negative in the case of halogens then what will happen down the group down the group what will happen down the group atomic size increases that means nuclear charge decreases so from top to bottom delta egh decreases okay so from top to bottom delta egh decreases so let us take in the case of halogens actually the order is fluorine then chlorine then bromine okay fluorine chlorine bromine iodine okay chlorine is having more electron gain enthalpy kilojoule mole inverse minus 325 kilojoule mole inverse then minus 295 kilojoule mole inverse if we compare fluorine and chlorine chlorine is minus 328 kilojoule mole inverse actually fluorine must have the uh, highest electron gain enthalpy compared to chlorine but uh, in the if we take the values we can see that chlorine is having more electron gain enthalpy why because in the case of fluorine f9 the electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p5 okay then 
chlorine 1s2 2s2 then 2p6 3s2 3p5 here the electrons are added to the p subshell 2p subshell okay 2p in the case of fluorine but in the case of chlorine it is added to 3p subshell so if we take these two the electrons are added that is electron electron repulsion is more in the case of 2p than in the case of 3p because it is very close to the nucleus okay so 2p is having more electron electron repulsion compared to 3p okay so in order to uh, uh, attract an electron fluorine feels more difficulty than chlorine that means less energy is released in the case of fluorine than in the case of chlorine so negative value will be less in fluorine than in the case of fluorine chlorine so chlorine is having more negative value that is more negative electron gain enthalpy than fluorine this is due to 2p electron electron repulsion is greater than 3p electron electron repulsion okay so this will be the different electron electron gain enthalpy of different uh, elements in the halogens okay same trend we can see in the case of oxygen and sulfur oxygen is having minus 141 kilojoule mole inverse then sulfur minus 200 kilojoule mole inverse actually oxygen is having more negative value but due to this electron electron repulsion sulfur is having more negative value okay next there is a question based on electron gain enthalpy question is which one has more negative electron gain enthalpy and least negative electron gain enthalpy okay phosphorus sulfur chlorine fluorine so from left to right what will happen to the negative electron gain enthalpy increases okay so phosphorus is having least then comes sulfur okay then what about chlorine and fluorine in the case we already discussed about this that is fluorine in the case of fluorine there is 2p 2p Uh, electro, 2p electrons are added to the 2p orbital 2p orbital is having more electron electron repulsion compared to 3p in the case of chlorine so the order will be then comes fluorine then chlorine so phosphorus he is having least electron gain enthalpy negative electron gain enthalpy and chlorine is having more electron gain enthalpy this will be the order okay electronegativity electronegativity is defined as the tendency of an atom in a molecule to attract the electron pair the shared pair of electrons to itself okay electronegativity is defined as the tendency of an atom in a molecule okay atom in a molecule or a chemical compound okay to attract the shared pair of electrons to itself okay so as the nuclear charge increases electronegativity also increases okay so nuclear charge of the atom increases that means the electron the shared pair of electrons attracted more towards the nucleus okay so that means it is more electronegative okay so electronegativity increases then 
in the case of atomic size as the atomic size increases nuclear charge decreases so electronegativity also decreases next there are different numerical scales to find the electronegativity of an atom of different elements okay they are pauling scale then Lincoln Jav scale third one Aldred Rocho scale okay these are the different scales used to find the electronegativity of which Pauling scale is the most commonly used one and it was discovered by Linus Pauling okay so according to this scale fluorine is the most electronegative atom which is having a value 4 okay electronegativity of fluorine is 4 okay next variation of electronegativity in periodic table along a period along a period what will happen in a period from left to right nuclear charge increases so electronegativity increases along a period increases from left to right okay so halogens are more electronegative okay halogens are more electronegative okay then down a group This electronegativity is related to non-metallic character also. Okay, as non-metallic character increases, electronegativity increases. Okay. So down the group, non-metallic character decreases. Okay. Down the group. Non metallic character decreases. That means electronegativity also decreases. 